Okay, let's begin with this. Now, uh, <clears throat> again, 25 multiple choice questions, and it'll be essentially 25 word problems, different kinds of things you're going to have to know. It's, it's pretty thorough. It's pretty, uh, it's going to be challenging. Everything all right? You have that? You have, you, everything's good? Okay. So everyone's here? Was somebody missing before, or that was just someone who had gone to the uh, bathroom? Okay. So if I say to you, if I say to you, um, if I say this is the word problem, are you ready? Yeah. How many moles of oxygen will be produced if 14 moles, sorry, Scratch that. How many, how many moles of oxygen will be required to consume an excess amount of glucose to produce 100 moles of carbon dioxide? What did I say? How many moles of what? O2, how many moles of O2 are needed if you have excess amount of glucose? So you have plenty of that, more than you need, <clears throat> right? So how many moles of the O2 do you need to produce how much carbon dioxide? What did I say? 100 moles? Okay. So how would you do that? How would you do that? You, you're, you want to know the number of moles of oxygen to, needed to produce a certain amount of moles of carbon dioxide, right? So what, are, what two things are you comparing? You can do this. Don't just, don't just sit there like you're at a tennis match and you're bored with tennis. You know, you're, you're, you've got to get your pen out, you've got to get some paper out, you want to close your laptops right now, all laptops closed. Get out your calculators, get out some no a notebook, let's do it, right now. Let's go. Come on. Active listening. Okay? T, I want that laptop closed. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well done as half the classroom leaves because they have come in here unprepared. I'll remember faces. Okay, very good. Alex, just slink out and get what you need. Yeah, all right, there, who is that person hiding? That was very effectively done. I have no idea who that was. Okay, so I'm comparing 6O2 with 6CO2. And I know the mole ratio is it's in the it's in the problem. Can I finish a thought? Do you think, or is that okay? Okay. So it's going to be six over six. That's moles, and that's going to be equal to. I'm, I'm looking for oxygen, and I have 100 moles of CO2. Correct? Yes. yes? This is sorry. I didn't put in this in. This is oxygen. And this is CO2. Okay? Yes? You have a question? Yes. And in, in both reactants, there are. I can't hear a word you're saying. In both reaction, uh, reactants, there are O. This is a reactant. This is a product. I know. In both. I'm saying don't we, don't we add the two, uh, like there's an C6H12O2. Don't we add the O2? No, I said to you, I said. How much, how much of this do you need to produce 100 moles of this? This is excess. This, you have more than you need. There's plenty of it. Excess, if you like. Doesn't matter. We have plenty of this. I want to know how much of this I need to produce 100 moles of this. What's the answer? What is 6 times 100 divided by 6? 100 moles. Right? You should be able to do that without a calculator. So the answer is 
100 moles of oxygen because the mole ratio is 1 to 1, isn't it? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Pretty, pretty straightforward? Yeah. Okay. Let's do another one really quickly. All right. It's one that is a little bit more difficult. Let's take the old standby. Okay, let's take the old standby. Right. How many moles of hydrogen are needed to react with no, that's too easy. How many moles of um, how many moles of ammonia will be produced if I com if I completely consume 25 moles of hydrogen? 25 moles of hydrogen, right? 25 moles of hydrogen. How many moles of this? Okay, do that. I'll give you two minutes. Then we'll turn this back on and we'll see.